So there we go. Look at this. We got the Platinum. Napa Platinum Filter. I know there's a gold that is one under this. I don't know if I've done a gold yet. I'm going to have to get a gold. And uh, check it out. This is a brand new filter. So no oil in it yet. So I like the ones that have no oil in them yet. And they're brand new filters. This one's a 41372. And made in the USA. And we got the good old man Hummel. Now, I did a little thing on that earlier about that and uh, Wix and... Not Wix. Uh, well, yeah, Wix. <laughs> right. But yes. Um, well, let's just get to taking it apart and seeing how well this one's built since this one is the Platinum. You can feel a spring in there. So, a uh, very nice, usual type of sealing surface. And uh, we got uh, six holes, six big holes, to let the oil flow through. It's actually a pretty good hefty filter. It's not that small. I am thinking it goes on. Let me see, what did I buy this for? Hmm... I think I bought it for my truck, so 5.4 Triton. Uh, it would fit a 5.4 Triton engine? Maybe? I really can't remember what I bought this for. I might have bought it for my freestyle, but no, I think this is a Triton. For the uh, Triton. So, let us cut her open and see what we got. So many filters still to come. I got lots of filters to come. I got a lot of used filters to come. I was planning on doing those in the winter. When I have a lot less time, I'm able to do outside work. So, because it gets cold here in the winter. Boy, does it ever. Now, this thing is coming apart nice enough. Hopefully. Nice thick case. Oh, she's cracking. I don't know what that means. She's coming apart. But that's good. Still took a pretty good amount of cracking. Like it, it's it's taken a lot of spins to get her this far. This case does feel solid though. Wow. There we go. We got her. You feel that spring in there, springing away. Right, grab her. This over here. Turn this like this. And we'll take the top off. Well, actually, the bottom. The base plate. Let's take that off. Alright. What do we got here? We have the silicone. I'm pretty Yep, she's silicone. Uh, let's see, there's writing on it, it says Parker, so, hmm. these are an interesting filter, I can already tell. There's that little piece, I don't know how well that works, for, that. I don't even know how it works, so what am I talking about? I don't know how that works, that piece, but it sits on top of there. The uh, filter goes like this. This piece fits here, holds it all together, so that holds that filter nice and tight. So it ain't going nowhere. When that spring's on it, she's holding her nice and tight. And yeah, I'm guessing that works pretty good. Pretty thick base plate here, like pretty good size, pretty thick. What's the, there's numbers on the inside of here. Nothing that I would know about. Uh, four threads. Four nice threads. Now, these are nice threads. These were cut in very nice. Some of the oil filters I checked, some of the threads just ain't cut in very good. And they leave burrs on them and everything. That one, nice job. And uh, let us take out this. 
there's the spring. That is a nice hefty spring to hold that filter down. Well, together. And here we go. Got a nice uh, release valve there for oil pressure release. And ah, smells new. Does smell new. Let's take a look at these pleats. Well, wider here, wider, 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 tighter, wider. Could have did a better job at, with the pleat placement in here, but hmm, what are you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do? But it's got a steel strip holding this together. I'm sure that helps. But uh, the steel that they use in here, this doesn't feel like cheap thin steel though. This feels like solid, good solid steel. So, put some pressure on her. Yeah, she's pretty tight. So, she's not coming apart. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to have to cut her, cut the filtration off it and see how well that is made. It does look like it's made well. But the price of this filter was over $20. So, it's like, whew. Over twenty dollars. Oh, there's the bill in here. Let us see exactly. Uh, this filter before tax was twenty ninety nine, and with tax twenty three fifty one. So, not a cheap filter. And oof, I bought this one myself just because I never did one of these. So, yeah. Had to do it. Well, let me cut off filtration and see how good that is. So, I hope I got to cut all the way through. I think I do. Took out the steel. This thing, this thing is tough. This thing is pretty thick steel to hold that all together. There is a mesh on the inside of this. There's the mesh. And... It's uh, pretty tough stuff itself, really. I was kind of shocked how tough it was. But it uh, came out. came out well. And, uh, oh, look at this stuff. Hey, come on. Oh, my word. There we go. Um, glued in well, I'll give you that. She is glued in very well. Like the tube, the tube is a nice tube. And uh, this, this, this really doesn't seem to be like a Wix XP as much as I can tell at all. So it is kind of like a Wix XP, but uh, it's a definitely different type of build this is. Maybe I'll get a Wix XP and take that apart in the next week or so a newer a new one and see how well these compare to each other which would be nice but uh yeah this is like i said man hummel so it's uh i i went through it before on how i how wix was bought out by a few companies so or a company but this is totally different. It's pretty solid. This thing is nice and solid. It's nice. And this uh, steel or aluminum, I'm not sure what it is. I think it's steel. It's got this backing on the inside. That stuff holds this because this stuff is pretty, you know, it's pretty flimsy and floppy because it is some sort of synthetic cotton type of material it's really thick too and uh it, it it don't tear so it's not gonna tear apart on you or anything this is a uh, pretty pretty strong stuff so i'd say th this has superior uh filtration i'd say this probably i i kind of like this one more than the uh, ams oil filter really this one just seems to be built better <laughs> i always thought the ams oil was built well 
So yes, this is a very good filter and I would use it anytime. And it's a pretty good uh, cup. It's nice and strong. That would stay together well. I like everything pretty well about this filter. Kind of like they hit it out of the park on this one. For uh, $20.99 plus the tax is always like, uh, still, if you want a premium filter, the Napa uh, Platinum filter is probably the way to go. And like I said, Amsoil is like, uh, it's like $35, $36. And uh, this Napa Platinum, I think, is, is probably better than that filter. So this is... This is a top-notch filter. Well, I'm going to hold on to this one. I, I hold on to all of mine. But, uh, yeah, I'll take part of Wix XP soon enough, a new one, and we'll see and compare these two together. All right. Thanks for watching.